Well, I've been waiting for the right time of the year, or the right type of weather to do these windows down in the basement. Well, obviously this is the right time. We've got more snow. We haven't had this much snow like in a long time. It, this has been doing this all day. It's what, 3.15, 3.20 in the afternoon. This started yesterday, or last, or this morning got heavy. So this is the perfect time to be doing the windows because the plane ain't going nowhere. It's safely tucked away in the hangar, which is great. I could not imagine my plane being tied up outside in this. I wouldn't be able to sleep. So we're doing the windows in the basement. This is what's going on. We've got, there's probably almost a foot of snow here. This is the backyard. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm, this is, this is what I'm doing. Uh, what else should I say here? Uh, so yeah, we'll get the windows all. So I got the co-pilot actually videoing for me, so I don't gotta walk around holding the camera. But yeah, what a perfect thing, it's January. Yeah, it's perfect, it's January, we'll get the windows put together, you would get them down here in the basement, and then get them back on the plane at some point next week, and get ready for my upgrades at the end of the month, so I'm really excited. So anyways, I wanted to show you what it's doing out here up in northern Illinois, we are about, I'm about 70 miles east or west of Chicago. If you're familiar with northern Illinois, Rockford is over there, Chicago is that way. So we won't be flying for a little while. Even if the weather gets nice, I'm sure the ramps in front of all the hangars are probably this deep in snow and they're going to be icy after they plow them. So anyways, good time of year to get the windows done. Plane goes in the end of the month for the upgrades. I'm really excited. So, okay, this is what it looks like outside. Okay. If you want to keep making <clears throat> anything else I need to say? I don't know. I back to the basement. All right, we're back. Okay, so here again the joys of making videos and editing and blah blah blah. So the first parts of this video that I did, where, well, I'm gonna, you're going to see, I'm going to just explain this, and I'm going to go back to the other part. I did <coughs> make a video on taking the windows <coughs> off. I, I cut, I, I made the video, I just, the camera cut out, it was dark, you couldn't see, it, it, it looked bad, and I didn't want to put that on here. What you're going to get go to next is when I put the trim on the windows, and I'm, you'll see in a second here how I put, and I, so we're going to cut to the video in a minute to where, how I put the trim on the windows, and you'll see all that in a second, but I want to just explain really quick how these windows came off, because that was part of the first initial video, you can see I've touched them up with paint, they're ready to go. We're going to do the video on that, putting the windows in, but I want to explain really quick. You can see the door sitting here, all ready to go. It's got the weather stripping in it, but I want to just show you really fast. All right, this is a little better. It's just hard with the lighting down here. <clears throat> so, the first part of this video is when I pulled the door, when I pulled the windows off the door. you already seen how the doors came off the plane, then we got here. So now... When you go to take your doors off, or take your windows off, and you can see the hole, you can see them. There's three here, three here. There's three holes. They're riveted. They're riveted on both sides. So what I started doing with the Dremel tool is grinding the rivet heads off, but those are really solid rivets. I'm guessing those are, well, they must have been changed because these frames are different, <clears throat> but those are really hard rivets. So I ground them, ground, ground them, they weren't coming off real good. All I did was I took a fine drill bit, drilled right through them till the, little head, till the heads popped off. If you ever drilled out rivets, rivets before, you'll know what I'm talking about. You just drill it real slow, small bit, then the head will pop right off, and you just pop the rivets right out. That's what I did. So we got the frames off, got the frames off. Before I go to um, put these, rip these back on, I'll clean these holes out, just take a little drill bit, just clean each hole out. I've already got the the rivets to go and let me show you what you could use you 
you can see it. You could use this type of rivet. It's got a little flat hat on one side, and you got to get the gun and you got to compress it. It's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. So you got to have the right tool, which I don't have here. It's, it's I think it's in the hanger actually. You got to take and just crimp it down. It'll just smash it. It'll clamp it. That's how you crimp these rivets down. So we got the door frames out. Once the frames were out, it's, here again, I'm going to show you two different things here. On this frame, there's only one bracket holding this together. See that? There's rivets there, and you can see them on the inside. I drilled these rivets out on the top and on the bottom. Well, there's one on the inside, two on the outside. I drilled them out, popped them, the frame came apart. So this frame is ready to go to put the window in. When I pulled the old, the other one was really in there tight, really tight. And when I was pulling, when I was just taking a hammer, just popping it around the side, the window broke, which is fine. I was actually that was the better of the two windows. I was hoping to save that one, but it broke. Um, you just take a hammer, just pop it loose, and the frame should separate from the trim that's in there, and it just the window should just pull right out. This one didn't come out as easy. I wish, I wish. <laughs> And I had a feeling there was two different things going on here. I can almost tell by the doors. It's like there was two different things. Look, here's the other frame. Two different frames. So obviously at some point, somebody did this. Either replaced the window in the frame because the co-pilot side, that window, I'm guessing, I'm guessing, I don't remember which one it was now. Uh... The co-pilot side, that window was just, it, it was just stained and it had like, sm it had like smear marks on it. Whenever you clean your windows, this is a whole other topic, make sure you use the right cleaner. But that window was just dirty. The pilot side, that was a tinted window and that window was in much better shape. So I'm guessing that one was obviously changed and I can't remember. Oh, it was that side. Yeah, because that's the one that broke. This must be the original frame. Actually, it goes like this. So you got these pins, they just, they just slide right together. I'm thinking maybe this was the original frame because this window was, was the worst of the two. The one that broke, the one that's only one piece, that had the nicer glass in it. But here again, I could be wrong too. They might One of these was the original frame, I don't know. Or maybe they're both different, who knows? You never know. So anyways, I almost wish I had two of these because this is going to be so much easier to pop the window back in. Now you've seen, it's in the other, it's in the next video coming up here. Using that rubber tape. That stuff is beautiful. And I've already, I've already taken it. I brought the windows and you'll hear again, it's in the video. I'm, I'm repeating myself. I brought these upstairs after I was done yesterday. I left them up in the kitchen overnight. This stuff, it's on there. It ain't going nowhere. But the nice thing about this rubber tape is if you if I want to pull this off and start over or pull it off and move it, you can. This is, this is a beautiful, I've never worked with this stuff before. I love it. So for some reason, if I wasn't happy with something here, I could just peel it up, adjust it, put it back on, and it's good. So you'll see that coming up in a second. Like I was explaining in the other video that's coming up, that rubber trim, I did some research, and I'm not sure if that's exactly the same the, the, the right trim for these window frames because it was so tight and that's why I'm like I gotta stop something's wrong here because that is not going in I do not want to break a brand new window so I quit here again you'll see that in the next video so anyways that's how the, the door windows come on grind your rivets down if they don't grind down depending on what kind of rivets somebody used when they put them in take a drill take a really small drill bit just drill right down the center of each head and just keep going, and then the head will just spin right off. When it, when it, when it gets through it, it'll, just, it'll twist right off. And then the rivet head is off, all, th all of them. Now you can take a punch, a fine little screwdriver, anything small, even a small nail, just to pop them out of the frame, and they should just pop right out. Should, key word. So that's how the frames, or that's how the window frames come off of your doors. So what we're going to do now, so anyways, I just wanted to explain that. Let's cut to the other video on putting this rubber trim on these windows and then after that 
we are going to install the windows. We're going to do one at a time. We'll do the harder one first. I don't think this is going to be this. Like I said, this rubber trim is a lot narrower, and it just—I it, it, already messed with it. it. It started to pop right in. But I'll show you how we do. Let's just watch the other video first, and then we'll come back to that. Okay. All right, we're back. Well, change of plans. As you see, I was trying to get the window in in the video, and it just wasn't working. It wasn't working. Then I had to go do something, so I stopped. And I come to find out this trim, I don't believe this is the... I did some research because this is just not going in these seams of these window frames like they should. I mean, they're really, really tight, and I do not want to take a chance of breaking these windows. So I did a little bit of research, and I come to find out that I'm not sure if they still make this exact trim for these windows anymore. And I found actually another guy on YouTube did a video of these and he used rubber tape. So this is out on the next thing I'm going to show you. And it works great. I already did. I actually just did one of them just to, just to try and see what it did. Instead of screwing around on the camera that I can show you, but I'm going to show you how I do it. So this is what it looks like. This is just rubber tape. And this is a lot thinner, and this should, and this is kind of what this other guy did too, should just pop right in the track. But I'm going to get these on first, then I'm going to just bring them upstairs. I mean, it grabs these windows really, really nice. I'm going to let them sit upstairs where it's warmer overnight and then do this. I'll continue this video tomorrow, but I'm going to show you how I put this rubber tape on. And this is what it is. The stuff that he used, he bought on Amazon, it would have taken too long to get here. I'll, I'll put this picture on the screen. I'll take a picture of this box and put it on the screen. But all this is, is a 3M or Scotch 1030C. It's just a rubber tape. It's a, like a rubber, what do they call it? They call it rubber splicing tape, but it's rubber tape. This stuff works fantastic. And this should do the trick. So I'm going to show you really quick how to put it on. And the nice thing is it stretches really nice. It looks like electrical tape. It's not really, ta it's tape, but it's like rubber tape. So it looks like electrical tape. It's not really like electrical tape, but it's, it's like a rubber tape. So it's got a little, and it's a little bit thicker. This, this should, should, never, should work out perfect. So I'm going to show you guys, I did the one just to try it. This is three quarters of an inch wide. Put it right down the middle. We'll come back to this. Make sure I'm in the camera here. Put it right down the middle and go, and it stretches really nice when you wrap it around the corner. It bends really nice and tight. I actually cut the other one in a few more, a few extra pieces. I really didn't need to do that. I could have left it one long piece, and it worked just fine. So, just gonna stretch it out. Let me start I'm trying to get this camera so you guys can see this, right? All I got, I just have this in between two boards just to hold it up, but I've got like an old, an old towel just so I don't scratch it. But this just goes on. I am going to cut it so I'm not, it's not so long. I'll start from the other end. Just put this on just like that. Just kind of center it. Oop. I want to get it as centered as possible so when you fold it over, it folds over evenly. Just take it. And the nice thing is, and you can pull it, you can stretch it, it grabs to these plexiglass windows really nice. There, see how nice that goes around that corner? And, and this stuff is really forgiving, so if it's not exactly even, you just pull it right up and start over. 
So it's like a tape, but it's not. And like I said, you could take it, stretch it. There, see? See how nice that looks? And this should just stay on real nice. But like I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this there. It's, it's, it's cool down here in the basement, so I'm going to bring this upstairs so it can just, like, warm up in the kitchen. Uh, let's do the corner. Let's stand it up. All right, we'll do the corner here. Just push these two boards together. Just cut a strip of it off. Just cut a strip. I'm going to overlap it just a little bit, and then I could trim it off. Right down the middle. And like I said, if it's not exactly even, pull it off and re put it back on. This stuff is real. I've never worked with this kind of tape before. When you go around the corner, just pull it. Look at that. Is that beautiful or what? And up here, I'll just trim that off a little bit. So I'll put it back over here. I'm a little overlapped here, so I'm going to just trim that. And all I'm going to do is pull it back. Actually, I'm going to cut this. I'm going to lift this corner up. Fold that, and then take this, there's a little bit of a gap here, but I can fill that in if I have to, I don't think that's going to make a difference, see how nice that is, goes around the corner nice, and actually what I could do, the nice thing about this stuff too, is you could pull it, there, you can pull it, just take a razor blade carefully so you don't hit your wet nether, let's do it this way, trim it, okay. there you go, we'll flip it over, and if you get a high spot, just push on it hard, stretch it. Let me let me straighten this and cut this one a little crooked. See, like I said, you can just pull it. If it's not straight, you just pull it right off. Cut it straight. flat. All right, let's cut the next piece. And one roll of this is plenty to do two windows. And it's like I said, it's like tape, but you could touch it. I was a little, I was a little cautious at first, but you could touch it and not take the stickiness away. So put it, fold it over. This stuff, I got this at Menards. It was like 17 bucks a roll. <laughs> so it's not the cheapest stuff, but it's obviously probably cheaper than that 
like I said, a friend of mine gave me that, and he wound up doing the same thing with his windows. And I thought I would try it. But then, like I said, when I started researching this, There we go. A little bit of high spot right here. I'm just going to trim that. Like I said, you can lift this stuff up, trim it, put it right back down. You can pull it back up, trim it. I pulled that a little bit too far. All I do is lift it back up. So this side. See? Look at that. Nice. Just go right along here. And, we'll just do it up here. I can see it. Now we'll just cut one more piece. Oh, cut that one way too long, but that's all right. I have plenty of it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this stuff. I got plenty of extra. Uh, let's do it this way so you can see. But like I said, you could pull it tight around the corner. There we go. I'm ready. I got a little overlap right here. So very carefully. Look at that. Perfect. I don't want to out of the camera here, but that's okay. I want, I want this to keep close up. See how nice that is? So yeah, I'm going to let this sit overnight upstairs where it's warm. I mean, it just grabs right to this wi these windows. I'm glad I stumbled across that video. I knew something wasn't right. I could just tell. It's like that trim should be popping in those grooves a lot quicker than it should have been, and it wasn't. So the fun still isn't done yet. I still got to get it in the frames, but I kind of, 
Look at look how much I got left. One roll does plenty. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this. Let's see. Look, you could just take it. I don't like to waste anything. Look. I put it right back on. So you just take it and put it right back on. This is beautiful stuff. And like I said, it's this. I'll put a picture. I'll put this picture on. Under, I'll, I'll put the picture here so you can see it. Like I said, it was like 17 bucks for the... At Menards, I don't get paid to say that. I just go to Menards for everything. So this is Scotch 130C tape. It's a beautiful thing. And it does... If you take one of these frames... I'm not going to do it yet. But if you take this... See, look at that. It just automatically starts sliding right in there. See? A little bit of... Now, these frames are different. Remember, I have two different window frames here. Let's see, look. Same thing. Just slid right in there. I probably could do this right now, actually. I don't think it's going to make a difference. Because this one I did earlier. So, yeah, we'll let these set up overnight. And we will come back. And we will pop one in the frame and see what it does. So we'll be back in the morning. Alrighty, here we go. Now it's time to put the windows in the frame. So, I got both windows ready. Like I explained earlier, there were two different frames on this plane. On my plane. So, actually I'm going to move this camera. Let's do it this way. Okay, so we've got the window frame ready. Really important to make sure you've got the window in the right position. I already marked this one with an arrow. That's the that's the top of it's the top of the window, which is right here. So you want to make sure you're lined up right. There. You can see. Let me pull this back. Okay, you can see that's pretty much, there's your window. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little bit of Dawn dish soap. Oh, it's dry. <laughs> it's been sitting here. I, it's, I just need a little bit of, just a little bit. What I'm going to do, uh, let's see here. We're going to do it. Let's just do a little bit. I don't need a whole lot. And I'm keeping the plastic on these windows. I am not taking them off until they're on the plane. Now this ain't gonna hurt nothing. Getting some if you get dawn on the windows, it's just it's a plexiglass. You're not gonna hurt your windows. But I want these to pop right in. So And these things are pretty pretty flexible, so we're going to just do it like this. We're going to pop in the bottom corner. Just like that. See how easy that slides in? I'm trying to do this so you guys can see this. Sometimes filming and doing this stuff is hard. <laughs> Let me do this. Hold on. Let me do... This is why I keep it in the plastic on so you don't scratch it. Just use a regular old Dawn. Just get it all... This way it just snaps right in. Okay. 
So now, let's go back to this. Let's try it this way. And we're going to separate the frame. There. Now, Sliding right in. It's not in all the way yet. <clears throat> okay, that's not going to work. What I'm going to do, I'm going to, well, let's try it this way first. Let's put a little bit more. This rubber should be totally buried inside that window. You shouldn't see any of it. There. And like I said, don't worry if you get into the plexiglass. You just take a nice smooth rag and wipe it. So I'm going to take, and I'm going to tip this on the ground. But I'm going to, so this will pop in just a little bit more. All right, I'm going to tap this on the, I got a towel off and I'll scratch it. Somebody's here. There, see that? Okay, so by tapping that on the ground, see how it pushes it in just enough? Now, let's just get it started in this frame. Of course, the rubber's catching it right there. We'll fix that. Okay, so we have a tight fit. So we're going to put it on a piece of wood on the cement. I'm going to cover it with a towel so I don't scratch the paint. And actually, I have a rubber mallet down here. Okay, so we're gonna just tap it real carefully right here, just for that seam, just so that seam can go together. I got a rubber mallet. And there you have it. One window done. I got to rivet the. I still got to rivet the joint, which is fine. But see, putting it on the putting it on the cement gave it a solid surface. I just tapped it together until that, that seam came together. So all I got to do is put the rivets in there. It's ready to go. This plastic I'm leaving on until it's actually on the plane. So that's window number one. All right. Alrighty, let's do the other window. Okay, we got it lined up. Make sure we got it set. No bragging, right? This should. We're gonna do the bottom one first. Uh, a little bit of dish soap, a little Dawn. Shouldn't take a lot. Stand it up. So, obviously, very carefully here. So, we're going to take, uh, let's do it this way. We'll put this one 
we'll do the top. We'll do the top so I can just slide it. And then I'm hitting on I'm hitting on the frame, not the window. You don't want to hit, you don't want to crack it. Then when I'm done, I'll show you guys how to rivet this back together. It's real easy. Now, take the frame, line her up. See how easy that slides in right there? Let's do it this way. Let's come up here. There. Do, it, do it evenly. Oh, stupid. I had it backwards. Ain't gonna work that way. Okay, here we go. Put that there. It's not all the way down, so... Isn't it funny how <laughs> you think you got it right and it's, so, it's got to go the other way? Okay. <clears throat> there. That. It's got to go that way, so we'll just take... See, you never say easy. You never say something should be one, two, three. Every time you say that, you jinx yourself. We'll wipe it off again. Make sure we got her lined up right. That goes there. I might try and do... Maybe I'll do the top part first. You just want to be careful. Yeah, there's no way I would have got this in with that other frame, with that other window, with that other, with that other trim. Wasn't going to work. Okay, so now... We are going to very carefully Okay, so that slid in really nice Let's hope the next one does the same thing. There it is. Well, I think I had it backwards. But that made no sense. It's going to tap on it, but I'm going to put the... So 
now we're going to take it on the floor because it's cement here again with a rag. When you do it on the cement, you get a much more solid surface and a hit. And I could feel that it just went in. Flip it over. That should be it. This is the passenger door. There you go. There you go. So I'm going to show you really quick. I want to make sure it's fit, obviously, if I start pop riveting stuff. I got to put the rivets back in, which is really simple. Okay, pop riveting. This is really simple. You got to have the right kind of aviation rivets. These use a, these use a really small rivet. How much battery? Let's see how far I can go before the battery dies. All you do, I'll do one. So you can see it up in the air, it's right here. Put the ribbon on. That's it. I'll do the other one. My built my batteries are gonna die. See it right here. So So that's it. Obviously the split frame one went together a whole lot simpler than the other one. I mean, it still went in easy, but just use the Dawn disc soap, get that rubber tape, I'll put the picture in and show you which tape it is that I use. That stuff worked really nice. Oh, uh, that was great. I would have never got that in with that other, with that other stuff, wherever it's at. The stuff I threw over my shoulder earlier. So anyways, hopefully you liked the video. Uh, any questions, comments, please leave them. Uh, like, subscribe, thumbs up, help, help share the videos, tell your friends, trying to just grow the channel. So anyways... That's it from the basement. We got a foot of snow outside this weekend. It's going to be so cold. Perfect time to do this. So hopefully you liked the video, and I will talk to you guys really soon. All right, bye.